Hi and welcome to week 20 of economics. So this week we'll be delving into the world of economic principles, of course, exploring the intricacies of gross domestic product, also known as GDP, other economic factors beyond GDP, the stages of a business cycle, we'll be analyzing business cycles with economic data, and we'll be discussing the profound impacts of economic busts in U.S. history. So we'll begin our journey, <clears throat> excuse me, by demystifying gross, gross domestic product, or GDP. GDP is a key indicator for a nation's economic health, representing the total value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders in a specific time period. The calculation involves summing up consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. It's a crucial metric for assessing economic performance, helping policymakers and economists understand the overall health, the overall health, excuse me, and growth of an economy. So while GDP is a cornerstone, there are other vital economic factors that provide a more comprehensive picture of an economy. Unemployment rates, inflation, and income distribution are essential components. Unemployment rates reveal the proportion of the workforce without jobs. Inflation gauges the general rise in prices over time. And income distribution highlights the disparity in wealth among the population. Examining these factors alongside GDP offers a more nuanced understanding of economic well-being and potential areas for improvement. Now, transitioning to the dynamics of economic fluctuations, let's explore the stages of a business cycle. Business cycles are recurring patterns of economic expansion, contraction, and recovery. The four primary stages are expansion, peak, contraction, and trough. During expansion, economic activity increases, reaching a peak where growth slows. Contraction follows, followed by a decline in economic output, leading to a trough before the cycle restarts. Understanding these stages helps economists and policymakers navigate the challenges and opportunities within a given economic environment. Moving forward, we'll delve into the analytical side of business cycles using economic data. So economists employed um, various indicators such as employment rates, consumer spending, manufacturing output, and so on, to gauge the stage of the business cycle. Analyzing these data points allows for informed predictions about future economic trends. By monitoring leading indi indicators, economists can provide insights to, into potential shifts in economic activity aiding businesses and policymakers in strategic decision-making. Lastly, we explore the impacts of great economic busts in U.S. history. So events like the Great Depression of the 1930s, the dot-com bubble, and the 2008 financial crisis had far-reaching consequences. Unemployment soared, businesses collapsed, and families suffered financial hardships. These events triggered significant policy responses, shaping economic regulations and influencing the trajectory of economic thought. Understanding the repercussions of past economic busts is crucial for developing strategies to mitigate future crises. So as we wrap up, um, from the intricacies of GDP to other economic factors, um, the stages of a business cycle, uh, analyzing them along with economic data and the impacts of historic and economic busts. We remember that economics is not just about numbers, it's about understanding the forces that shape our financial landscapes. So I want to thank you and I look forward to working with you all next week.